Tonight, protesters arm in arm bringing a highway to a halt, all part of a march for justice and the death of Botham Jean. Despite the rain, these protesters weaved their way through downtown Dallas tonight, chanting no justice, no peace. This caps off a week of questions, pain and anger in this case. So right now, those protesters are still out on the streets of downtown Dallas. Let's get out to Damon Fernandez, who has been with them all night. Damon? Hey there, John. Yeah, for about two hours now, we've been following this group of protesters that you see ahead of me. They say their mission tonight is to continue demanding justice for Botham John. Now, he was that 26-year-old St. Lucian immigrant who was shot and killed by Dallas police officer Amber Geiger while in his own apartment last week. Now, the men and women began protesting tonight in the rain. Many of them say they have some serious questions about inconsistencies with the officer's story and how they say this investigation has been handled by DPD Texas Rangers, the city, and the media. Now, as the group began marching tonight, they locked arms, at one point stopping at the Southside Flats for a moment of silence at that complex where Jean was killed. And while this group of about 60 to 70 continued marching to chant and hold demonstrations outside several businesses, there was a separate group of protesters who shut down part of I-30 West Frontage Road. Now, organizers leading the marches with this group that we're walking with, they encouraged them to continue on and stay focused. Now, that group then went to stage demonstrations outside the Omni Hotel, Dallas Morning News, and other media agencies. They just left Fox Station. Now, the group says it's upset by the recent tone of coverage involving search warrants that were released yesterday as John's family was holding his funeral. Now, the group's already held demonstrations outside the Omni Hotel, Dallas Morning News. They just left the Fox News station downtown Dallas, and it looks as if they may be heading to WFAA. Again, the group says that it is concerned about the tone of coverage and what they call character assassination of Botham Jean, who was killed by that DPD police officer. Earlier today, they were also calling for DPD to fire that officer. That's one of their big demands right now. Now, I did ask the family's attorney what the status of the family is right now. I'm told that Botham Jean's family will be heading to St. Lucia, his home country, tomorrow morning. Again, this group that we're standing with right now, it's about 60 to 70 large. Some people have been trickling in this group as they've been walking around downtown. They stopped and you can see some people kneeling here outside the Greyhound station on Commerce Street in Lamar right now. John, it's going to be a busy night. It already has been a busy night in the rain. We'll continue to bring you developments tonight as they continue. Demont Fernandez, Channel 8 News. All right, appreciate the report, Demont. So here is what the rally looks like uh, from the air. HD Chopper 8 flying overhead tonight as the protesters made their way through the streets of downtown Dallas. Perhaps one of the most striking images from tonight's rally is going to be this one. With the rain descending on them, those protesters for a moment uh, silently took a knee. It's in those moments you see the raw emotions in this case. 